Hi everyone, Pam here from Creative Homescaping. Today I thought I would share with you a few items I picked up recently from Dollar Tree and also Target. Um, most of them are fall items, but there are a few Christmas items. When I went to Dollar Tree, I was looking for some contact paper. They didn't have the kind I wanted, but I ended up getting a few other things. So I'm gonna show you those. And they had a little bit of Christmas out. Um, not as much as I've seen other people show, but they did have a little bit and I did pick up a couple items that I'm going to show you. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree items. And the first thing I found, they had one little end cap that had a few fall things left in it. And I had not seen these earlier, but they have these uh, leaf garlands here. And they had some that were really bright orange. I didn't think they looked very natural. So I went ahead and got a couple of these that have a little bit more brown with some orangey color in them. And I'm going to use those on my front porch and I'll be showing that when I do my fall home tour. And then the next thing I got were um, some of these napkins. I'm sure you've all seen those. So I like to keep some seasonal napkins where I have our uh, beverage station set up in my house. And then I picked up some Excelsior. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use this to look like hay. And um, I'm going to be changing out my tablescape first for Halloween and then I'm going to change it out for Thanksgiving and I want to have a, some, a, more of a neutral decor for Thanksgiving so I'm going to be using some of this in my centerpiece. And then they had a few more fall flowers. Um, they, they still had some but a lot of them were colors I didn't want but I did want some more, um, more neutral ones. I'm almost out of the neutral ones, so I found a couple of bunches of um, the dahlias there. So I'm going to be using that for the centerpiece as well. Now on to Christmas. Uh, the first thing I saw actually was this sign. I haven't seen anybody show this. They had another one that said peace, um, I, I believe. No pun intended since this says believe. but. Um, I had a wreath for the front door that I have with red plaid on it, so I thought I might incorporate the sign into that wreath to change it up a little bit for the fall, I mean for Christmas fall. <laughs> and then I had seen some people haul these. They're white trees, they are a little bit glittery, so I'm going to have to um, paint them with some spray, sorry, not spray paint, I cannot talk today, uh, with some hairspray but I'm planning on using these on my Christmas tablescape. And then there was, uh, I saw these ornaments. I thought these were very cute. They say Merry Christmas, and there's uh, five of them in this one package. And I may not use them, I probably won't use them as ornaments. I may use them in little vignettes uh, that I create for the holidays, but I thought five little signs for a dollar was a pretty good deal. Um, and then the next two items are, well, actually three items are not, they're more utilitarian. Um, I wanted to show you, they do have some fuzzy socks out and I think these would make good stocking stuffers. Um, and I'm not gonna show you the front because I may end up with this uh, in a stocking. And I ha got a couple others. They had some, they have different animals on them. That's what I'll tell you that I found. Um, but they're, they're very soft and stretchy. And I think they'll be good for the winter time. And then the next thing I got were just these command hooks. I wanted command hooks, not the uh, Dollar Tree one. These have two in here. I'm going to use these on at the back of a mirror, I think, so that I can hang a banner up in front of it. And I will show you that in a future video if I end up doing it. And then the last thing I found, I'd seen a few people show this, but I found the two pack of the smaller mini wreath forms. And I just thought I would grab them to have on hand. Um, I probably won't do anything with them for fall, but I may do something with them for Christmas time, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. And uh, that's it for my Target items. So now let me show, what is wrong with me? 
Uh, that's not it for my Target items. That's it for my Dollar Tree items. And uh, now I will show you the Target items. Okay, so the first couple of Target items I will be using in an upcoming challenge. It's a Halloween bar cart challenge that's being hosted by Crafty Kitty. So I did pick up some Halloween napkins. This is Happy Halloween, orange and black. There's 20 in here. Give us a dollar or two. And then I got these stir sticks from the, the uh, Bullseye Playground area. They say spice on them. I thought I would bring in an orange color. I have some other ones already that are the little cups that say latte on them, but I decided for the Halloween setup, I wanted to get these orange ones. And you know what? You can wash these. I don't like to um, be wasteful. And these wash very well. I've even stuck them in the dishwasher and they come out just fine. So don't uh, waste your stir sticks. You can uh, reuse them. And then uh, I, the last thing I picked up, of course, you're going to know that it was some of the fall birds. And I had been seeing them in People Shop With Me videos, but my store hadn't gotten in any um, harvest decor, only Halloween decor. And then I checked online yesterday and it said they had some. So I went over there and I found them. And I'm gonna show them to you right now. So here's the first one. This one is named Hops. And he has this cute little Poirot mustache and a kind of a herringbone print on his pants and on his cap and some suspenders and a little brown tail. The next one is named Oats. So they all seem like they have plant or grain type names. And this one has the little spectacles and has kind of a fall leaf print on him. And then this one is named Sunflower, and she has her little sunbonnet on, also with a fall harvest print and a tied in a bow at the front. And then this one I showed in an Instagram post. This is my absolute favorite, and she is named Juniper. And she has this little striped skirt on and this little polka dot bow in her hair. So I will be using those in my fall decorating um, somewhere and you will see them when I do my home tour. Well, I hope you like my quick haul and uh, I'm sorry I couldn't seem to speak properly today. <laughs> but we all do that once in a while. So if you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below. I post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home, including haul videos like this one. And I've also been participating in a lot of challenges lately. I hope that you're all enjoying your first couple of weeks of fall, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care.